So hi everyone, welcome to the CCNP Encode training by Pioneer Labs. Let me first of all introduce myself. My name is Chirag Dhal, and I'll be accompanying you on this journey of learning networking related topics to some very advanced level. So we are going to cover all of the topics from very scratch to some very advanced levels. So this video is basically being created for those who are looking forward to get into the CCNP training by Pinet Labs. And in this video, we, we are going to try to understand that what all topics and how do we how we are going to take this training forward when it comes to learning Encore. So Encore is basically the enterprise training provided by Cisco. And let me just quickly open the official document provided by Cisco as the course overview so that we can have a closer picture about the topics. If you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. All right, so we have the document with us. And if we look into the course duration provided by Cisco, it is of five days. And by five days, Cisco means that eight hours a day. And if you calculate that, it sums up to be uh, 40 hours. But in our CCNP training, we are going to extend this training for around 48 hours so that all of the topics which need some extra attention or we can say if there are some practicals or labs which needs to be done as an extra part can get enough of the time and even if they don't get the time within the 48 hours we will extend that so need not to worry about the duration thing so let's quickly scroll down to the course outline provided by cisco okay so there are some prerequisites in order to learn about CCNP and core that is implementation of enterprise LAN networks, basic understanding of enterprise routing and wireless connectivity, then basic understanding of Python scripting. So you need to have some basic understanding of networking. This is not a necessity that you have to be a CCNA certified in order to participate in Encore training or in order to appear for the Encore exam. So you just need to have some understanding of networking so that you uh, you not have to face some difficulty when it comes to learning advanced topics. Now, the very first thing which we are going to learn about is uh, Cisco Enterprise Network Architecture. So under this, we are going to learn about what are the different types of architecture. How should be uh, a network be designed so that it can work to the most effective extent? Then after that, we are going to learn about some layer two technologies and by layer two, I mean that we are going to discuss about all of the topics which are related to Cisco switch. So they are going to be VLANs. They're going to be inter VLAN routing. And uh, after that, we have building a redundant switched topology. So there are going to be some topologies where you might not have seen seen some redundancy. In that case, if any of the link goes down, the whole network goes down. So when it comes to configuring a net network, redundancy is a very important thing. And we are going to discuss how we can create or how we can configure a network in a way that even if some link goes down by any chance, the network still works and devices should be able to communicate with each other. So we are going to learn about that. Then after that, we have some topics related to routing and we have EIGRP, we have OSPF, we have BGP. So we might also discuss about RIP as well. And in these topics, we are going to learn how we can create two networks communicate with each other. So we will be discussing about how forwarding of packet from one network to another network works. We, we, also, we are also going to learn about some multi-area OSPF labs we might also discuss about uh, combining two protocols together in order to make routing possible in a network. So the basic idea behind this outline is not just these topics. So we, we, we are definitely going to learn about the topics which are listed here, but with that we might also discuss about few things which, which will be required to understand this, these topics in depth so that you can become a network expert, not just a person who has just completed an encode training by any institution 
and is ready to appear for the exam. You should be able to understand this whole thing in depth and for that I'll do whatever it takes. Then after that we have some topics related to NAT where we are going to learn how a network address is translated, how a private network can be used uh, in order to reach out to the internet. We are going to learn about NAT, PAT or whatnot. Then we have some topics related to virtualization as well. Here we are going to learn everything related to virtualization. We will be discussing about virtual machines. We are going to learn how we can create a network by using virtual machines. What are the hypervisors out there which can be used to create a virtual network? We might also look into some examples as well. Then we have understanding wireless principle. There are some topics related to wireless technologies and wireless devices. So we'll be learning what need to be kept in mind when when it comes to configuring a wireless network. How should be a wireless network be configured so that we we don't have to compromise with the security and uh, there are going to be troubleshooting as well. So in case you face some difficulty in configuring a network or there are some up upgradation which needs to be done in your network, then we are going we are also going to cover that part as well. Then after that we have some topics related to protocols, multicast protocols, then QoS network services where we might discuss about ACLs and uh, after that we have security related topics. We are going to learn about security fundamentals. So in my opinion there are two types of networks. There is just a network and there is a secure network and it is strongly advised that every every network engineer out there should be able to configure a secure network because security is something which cannot be compromised when it comes to networking, right? So we are going to learn about the protocols which can be configured on your devices to make your network a secure network. Then we are going to learn about Cisco DNA softwares which can help us to understand what is the health of devices which are there in your network. Then we'll be discussing about SGVAN solutions. We'll be discussing about devices like vManage, vBond, vEdge. Uh, so basically we are going to learn about everything when it comes to a wide area network and how SGVAN basically works. Then after that, after we are done with these things, we have some topics like SGP, RSGP, then Ether channel, OSPF. So all of these topics which you might have also covered in your CCNA training are going to be uh, covered in some very very detailed way. So you are going to learn some very interesting facts, some very interesting features about these simple topics which you might have learned already about. So we are going to cover STP in detail. We are going to learn about ether channels. What are the different types of ether channels? What, how a multi area OSPF work or what not? Then we have topics like HSRP, VRRP, how eBGP works, how HSRP work, how a de two devices can be used so that if in case one goes down, the other can come up as a primary device. Then we have again implementing the NAT. Then some topics related to virtual routing and forwarding as we have already discussed. We, we are going to learn about virtual networks as well. Then after we are done with this, we have some topics where devices like or we can say our topics where language needs to be learned. So don't worry about learning Python or some other things. We are going to cover everything in this coming training. So we'll be discussing even about Python as well. How a Python language can be used, how a, how a network can be configured using the Python language. So we are going to talk about SSH. We are going to talk about NetConf, RESTConf, APIs and whatnot. So I am very excited for this training and I hope you guys are also. So if you want to get your skills upgraded, if you want to learn, if you want to learn some advanced technologies, then this training is for you. See you guys there.